The Columbia community grieving the loss of 25-year-old Sin Q Wilson, a Benedict College grad who lost his life this weekend. Good evening and thank you for joining us for News 19 at 11. I'm Kaylin Hagwood. Now, investigators say Wilson died after being hit by a car last night along Bluff Road, not far from williams Bryce Stadium. We spoke with Wilson's sister a short time ago about his life and the legacy he leaves behind. In his short life, 25-year-old Sin Q. Wilson carried many names, including friend, coach, and Benedict College graduate. Christian Lynn Sutton was his sister. Sin Q. is the youngest of the family. Uh, we all, He's the baby. We always call him the baby. But he moved out on his own. He was doing some great things. She says Wilson, a Florence native, graduated with a degree in sports management and was a member of the Omega Psi Phi fraternity. During his time at Benedict, she says he played football briefly and was a member of the track team. After graduating, he went on to be a coach at Alcorn Middle School in Richland School District 1. He loved everybody. Definitely was a role model. He took, he took his job serious. He took everything he did serious. He was celebrating Benedict's homecoming when he passed away Saturday night. In my mind, as his big sister, it's like, let me go save him. But this time we couldn't go save him. You know, there was nothing we could do but cry, you know, scream, try to figure out and process what had happened. Now they're holding on to the memories. His presence, his smile, um, his goofiness, his sportsmanship. If there's something to remember him for is that whatever we do, we do it with all our heart, with sportsmanship, with honor and integrity, and don't use excuses. Well, his sister says memorial and funeral plans are in the works. The family wants to thank those who have reached out to share condolences so far. The coroner's office and um, sheriffs, of course, the police still investigating the details about what led up to this incident.